Welcome to another video. Today I want to show you the current status of my F9 project. So first of all, look at that view. So that's exactly how I wanted the rear end to be. Last time you could already see it in black with the rear lights and we figured out that these rear lights are actually the same ones like on the first Porsche 356 Ferdinand Coupe. Uh, this here, like I said before, with the three light bulbs, so we even have the indicator inside there, and the brake light and the rear light separately. <clears throat> now we have the bumper on there as well, which is actually not that straightforward, because within the bumper are the license plate lights, as you can see here. And since it's a 1930s design, the special thing here is there are no ground cables. So the ground is conducted through the whole body of the car, which means that first you paint everything and then you can't really get any ground to the component you need, which means you need to wrap off all the connection points just to get the ground to there. Additionally, it's a six volt car. So if you have six volt at the front battery, maybe just 5.5 arrive, arrive at the rear. So it's um, really not that straightforward and it took a little bit of fiddling around until everything worked but it did work and you can see the result now. I didn't really want to spend the money on um, buying these bumper corners new in chrome so I just used simple chrome spray which you can get for like 15 euro. Um, on the left hand side I'm pretty okay with the result. I mean you can check my other videos from before but um, these were in really bad condition before actually also this here is chrome spray and also my self-made logo is chrome spray and um, this is the chrome spray itself which is fine now um, but after I painted it um, the problem was that if you like touch it you had silver fingers that's why on the other side I was using some clear coat over it but the problem is when I put the clear coat on it just turns silver so there's not this chrome effect anymore so I will redo this side again but you can see that this side was pretty much shut so um, all the chrome was coming off there's a lot of rust underneath but I want to restore this car with the stuff I have I don't want to uh, buy too many parts new and that's the result I know you've seen it before but I always like to do that again opening the trunk see the nice red carpet in there and the trunk actually keeps open now with the new spring so that's always a nice view. I'm pretty okay with the paint now in the sun um, considering I only spent like 30 euro on it and did it myself so this is four layers of um, simple black paint. Still will do the, the door frames so you can see it's, it's still white because I will do this uh, manually with a brush and what I really liked was this style so I was just trying that for now. Um, so with these um, yeah, stripes of tape on the front lights. I want to drive the car without front bumper because I really like this nice round front which completely is like lost if you have this huge bumper on. Um, then the question was how much chrome do I use at the front? So I just use the center now and with this uh, little uh, stature here on the top. I don't use the chrome frames around the air intake and I also not, um, I'm also not i not using the side ones here. I think this look is exactly what I want and what looks best. You can also see I have new wheels on now. So these are proper wheels we can actually drive with them. The previous ones were just completely gone and I also refurbished all the hubcaps so the hubcaps were in really bad condition and now I'm pretty okay with that so I can live with this and actually I ordered a new mirror for this so that will come soon. I will also have some uh, the windscreen wipers on there again so the, the whole style outside the whole look outside will be done and then it looks like my car, so there is motivation again to work further on this project, which is usually the problem. People lose interest and then they never finish it. I also uh, put in the red carpet inside. It's a bit tricky here with the foot compartment of the rear, um, but you won't really see this uh, when the seats are in. Um, this is just, um, yeah, just the carpet thrown inside right now. I will still do all the, all the little 
uh, fine adjustments so that it will fit properly. But um, this is how it looks like right now. And then you can see I'm working with foams. That's actually a foam for Mercedes um, uh, for W124 that I also used in my Trabant. I still had some left over and I used it in here. Also here at the side, for example. So this is something I missed on my Trabant, like I told you before. And I want to do a bit more isolation in this one. And so it's a bit quieter. You can also see this is, for example, the switch for the high beam, low beam. And yeah, once everything else is tidy and clean, it's gonna look great. So the next projects on this F9 will be the exhaust, the brakes, and then the engine bay. So putting everything back together, and then we should be able to drive that car. So stay tuned and see you at the next video.